Reshade is an advanced, fully generic, <laughs> 100% unoriginal generic. Oh, okay, yeah, anyways, this is a shader injector, basically. It's like sweet effects. It's going to give you access to a lot more than that. It's pretty neat. I wanted to give it just a quick little overview here. I've been using it some. So anyways, you know, we go to reshade.me, we download it, we extract it, we open it, and then you get this snazzy little interface. So from here, I mean, you can see we have all these different things. That We have the pipeline, we have, you know, sweet effects, all these different things that we can put into the game. So you would, you know, add the game, find the location. So like right now, I've got this one that I was fussing around with. This is a RC Simulation 2.0. And then you go to Pipeline, and then this is going to show me what I'm putting into this specific game. So I got Ambient Occlusion, some Advanced Motion Blur, this other Motion Blur, Blur Bloom, and a Watchdog Tone Mat, just you know fiddling with the uh, color levels and saturation. So I didn't go too crazy on this game, but I just wanted to go over this program briefly just to show you like what it's capable of and how easy it can be to use. So that's pretty much all you would do, is you would add in, you know, you add the game to it, and you can uh, manage it. Now, the only fussy thing is when you make changes, it's not going to update in real time. You're going to have to close the game, relaunch the game, which is a little tedious, especially if you're trying to tweak something. And be warned right away, I mean, some of this stuff will destroy your frames per second. Like, you got to pick and choose some of these things. Like, I can't remember which one it was. Like, one, the depth of field, maybe? Or this motion folk? I don't know. One of them, you know, as you fiddle around, like, some of them, you'll notice they start, you know, they'll make the game run like a slideshow. So, don't do everything. Pick and choose a couple and see how it works and tweak it. Now, the only other particularly fussy thing for me was... We go to common. More than likely, this is this is uh, toggling it off and on. Now you can see I have this OX91. What the hell is that? Yours will probably say like VK scroll or something, which is not actually going to work. At least it didn't for me. I have to, you know, I had to uh, put that key in myself. And knowing what that key was was a little weird. Like you had, I had to go to. Reshade, so I have it open over here, personal files, key codes. And then if we open that with Notepad Plus. So here you can see, you know, it's a little, little weird. Um, yeah, define VK scroll. So I'm pretty sure on default, mine just said VK scroll, which maybe for certain keyboards it will work for the scroll lock but I had to put in the OX91. So, you know, just just verify that before you run it, so, you know, so you don't get frustrated. So, all right, we did that, you know. You'd add some things, and you could apply it, and it would change them. So let's just hop into the game so you can see what the hell I'm even talking about with all of this. All right, hopefully that it was able to catch that I tried to hit record really quickly you should have seen stuff up top which was telling you that the reshade shaders are working and we can see up here I have uh, I put an FPS counter in it just so I would be able to another way just so I know it's on plus plus so I could keep track of that you know frame per second to make sure it's not getting all crazy what it's actually changing here if I hit scroll lock so there, you can see, now that's with it off. I'm still getting, oh no, no! I'm still getting, uh, you know, 60s frame. But what this was doing is, I'm adding, there, we can see we got some, you know, it's putting some bloom up on the bright light sources. It's a, uh, softening the edges and upping the saturation nothing too crazy you know just tweaking it a little bit to make it look a little bit nicer i can there it is it's off you know it's like 
I didn't even notice until I had upped the saturation how the default game is a little bit bland look like it's not warm enough so that's off back on you know it's nothing major I mean, I'm really only seeing it when I get to those uh, the bloom so yeah that's that's with it turned off you know we got some sharp edges uh, and then that's with it on nothing drastic which is the point I mean I didn't want to change this dramatically you certainly can I just wanted to you know soften it up a little bit and give it a little bit more saturation like the bleeding the bloom I guess I don't know what the hell it would be called but how it's like softening up how it's putting some atmospheric glare on the guy standing there which isn't there you know that's I like that it's giving it some atmospheric haze And this game, I mean, it's the style of this game is kind of isn't meant to be going for, you know, super duper realistic stuff. But yeah, I mean, you can fiddle all around like in a go kart simulation game. I put, you know, the depth of field into it, which gives it a nice little look. But yeah, it's a cool little utility that, you know, you can just fiddle around with and make make games look a little bit nicer. So yeah, that's a uh, reshade, the shader injector. And this was a uh, RC Simulation 2.0, which is a pretty fun little game. I haven't made a video on this one for a while. Oh. They can make it perfect through software. Is really I mean that's what I'm going to say. Rebel bike destroyed. Butt crawl. Do, 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 do. Do, do. Okay. Yes, you get it. <clears throat> yes, I feel it. The energy vibrating. <laughs> <laughs>